Well, ever since her son was killed in 2020, a local mother has been on a quest for answers. When she picked up the car from the impound lot, she was shocked to find shell casings inside, which she believes could have held answers about her son's killer. Victor Williams following up on this story today. Victor, it's tough to imagine what that mother has been through. Yeah, that's right. You really feel for this woman. It's been years, but it still feels like she's in the same place. He left home normal day, smiling, happy, and ended up being deceased. It's been going on three years since 20 year old David Greer was murdered when his car was sprayed with bullets on New Year's Eve of 2020. His mother Tamika has been barely hanging on ever since. The pain is indescribable. 20 years old, whole life ahead of him, no answers, no suspect, and it's been nothing but agony. Although there have been no leads on finding the person responsible, Tamika has been looking for answers to another question. That's how DPD could have missed evidence with shell casing still in the car after she picked it up from the impound lot. Since then, I've had a lot of even other parents that's in the same situation as me that has not received any answers and basically being at the point where it's like failure to investigate a crime. Back when we originally spoke to DPD, Commander Eric Decker said it was something that should have never happened. Not exactly sure why these were not recovered. When I spoke to Ms. Greer, she said that they were, you know, in, in plain sight. Those are something that our evidence techs should have observed and recovered. But now all this time has passed and nothing, even though she realizes getting answers will not be easy, Tamika is still holding on to hope that she'll receive justice for her son. We're just standing here and hope in prayers that somebody will come forth with some type of good news and lead us in the right direction of who did this to my son. Now, Detroit police could not comment on the matter, but we are told that they're still looking into this investigation. For anyone out there who might know something, you guys can always submit an anonymous tip to Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP. Victor Williams, Local 4. Let's hope somebody says something and speaks up. Victor, thank you.